I love Mexican food. I love Mexican people. I, um, I don't even know what it is. I think it's just people, we have a connection, you know? I don't know, South Africans and Mexicans or something. People from shithole countries, we have this thing. I still can't believe the things Donald Trump says. He's such a, for me, Donald Trump is an emotional paradox. I'm not gonna lie. You know, logically, I can process him. Emotionally, I struggle. On the one hand, I will admit, I wake up many days terrified at the notion that he's president of the most powerful nation in the world. But I also must admit, I wake up many days knowing he's gonna make me laugh. <laughs> yeah, there's terror and there's joy and I don't know how to feel. You know what it feels like sometimes? It feels like there's a giant asteroid headed towards the Earth, but it's shaped like a penis. <laughs> like, I think I'm gonna die, but I know I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> you just look at everything that he does. The world we now live in because of him. Like, you realize we're living through history. You know? This will never happen in our lifetimes again. We're living through a time when we are all learning about the presidency at the same time as the president. That's never happened. How wild is that concept? You wake up every day reading the news and you're like, wow, I didn't know that. And somewhere at that exact same moment, he's reading the same news going, wow, me too. And nobody knows where it's gonna lead. Nobody knows what he's gonna do. All we know is that he wants his wall. He wants his wall. Donald Trump wants his wall. He needs $25 billion the last time he asked. He needs it from American taxpayers because Mexico is smart. <laughs> that fell apart real quick. I remember how confident he was at the rallies, people cheering for him. He was like, folks, we're gonna build. <laughs> oh, well. Uh We're gonna build a wall, folks. Who's gonna pay? Mexico. And Mexico was like, we ain't paying for shit, man. <laughs> we might build it, but we're not gonna pay for it, man. <laughs> and I don't know if you've been following the journey of the wall, but it's probably the best comedy on TV, right? <laughs> because now they've started building prototypes of the wall at the border, right? Because Donald Trump said he wants them to test the wall first. I don't know how you do that. You know, it's just like, try again. <laughs> and because this is the prototypes, Donald Trump now has specifications for the wall. He now says he wants the wall to be made out of concrete, but he also needs the wall to be see-through, right? <laughs> and the reason the president wants the wall to be see-through is because he said he's afraid that drug dealers from Mexico are gonna shoot bags of drugs over the wall and it's gonna hit Americans on the head as they walk by. <laughs> so he needs the wall to be see-through so that Americans can see the drugs coming and catch it. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what a see-through wall is, but at this point, I'm just worried that a contractor's gonna come along and trick the president. He's gonna take him to the border and be like, there it is, Mr. Trump, your invisible wall. And then just to make sure he buys it, he's gonna hire a troop of Mexican mimes to be like, oh my God, you can't get through it. It works. Like the mind of Donald Trump. Oh, the other idea he had for the wall was he said America should build the wall out of solar panels. That's what he said. He said America should build the wall out of solar panels because that way the wall would generate electricity and pay for itself. Yeah. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. That's a good idea, right? It's a good idea. Unless you know anything about solar panels or the sun or walls. Because <laughs> the problem with that idea is that the sun is up, yeah? We all agree on that, we're still on the same page there, yeah? The sun is up, all right? Uh, a solar panel wall is not gonna work because a wall is like this. So technically it's facing down. So unless you have like a really swaggy sun that's like, yeah, I shine real low, B, it's not gonna work for you. 
The only way it works is if you take your border solar panel and lean it at an angle to get the sun's rays. But if you do that, now you've just created a giant ramp for Mexicans to shoot into America. He's like, orale! The mind of Donald J. Trump. The J stands for Jesus. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, a lot of self-loathing going on there. And he's always going after someone, right? He's always going after someone. If it's not Mexicans, it's Muslims. If it's not Muslims, it's Africans from shithole countries. And that one was, that one was my favorite personally, because I am an African and I've, I've shat in a hole. Um, <laughs> I also liked it because like, people came up to me and asked me questions. There was one man who came up to me after a show, really concerned. He was like, Trevor, hey, hey, can I, can I ask you a question? I said, yeah, go, go ahead, my friend. He said, hey, I, Trevor, I just wanted to know when, when Donald Trump says, says all these, these horribly racist things, do you sometimes just want to you know, pack it up, leave America, go back to South Africa and escape all this racism? I said, my friend, you don't go to South Africa to escape racism. <laughs> That's where you go to stock up. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's the one thing that reminds me of home. <laughs> racism out here. Because we got, we've got tons of racism in South Africa. Uh, and don't get me wrong, it's gotten a lot better. You know, when, I, when I was growing up, we had apartheid. And you know, apartheid was basically the best racism in the world. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I mean, now you're gonna feel bad and be like, oh, racism was the best. No, it wasn't. It was good, but not the best. And, and I, I experienced a bunch of racism and everyone did. I, I never felt like it was a, a bad thing, mostly because of my family. Uh, you know, my, my mother is a black woman, also a woman. My father's Swiss from Switzerland. And them being a couple was against the law. And, and that was a problem for us living together. And so we experienced a ton of racism. And in case you're wondering, yes, Hossa is one of the languages with the clicks in it, right? Hossa, but not, but not, like in, not like in American movies, just so you know. Yeah, I've seen those movies where they have Africans and they're like, That's not a language. Yeah, even we watch those movies and we're like, I wonder what they are saying, yeah? Where are they from? I think they're from Cleveland. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can win cool prizes. And by prizes, I mean surprise. There's no prizes. It's a free YouTube video, you greedy. Just click the video, man. Why you want free things on free things?